He said it was bright today for part of the day, yeah. and then that rain moved right back in. Yes, and my mood went from yay to uh, <laughs> yeah. moo. Hey, you know what? We need the rain. Okay, I just keep telling myself that. It's the time of year for rain, and we need the rain to get us through the hot, dry months of drought. So, uh, looking on the bright side here, heaviest showers have just moved past Portland, heading into southwest Washington, up and down I-5 is where you'll find some heavier rain. And for the mountains, that also means more mountain snow. Warmer temperatures on the way, and yes, more rain on the way. But you can see in this two-hour loop, the heaviest showers cruise through. We'll have some more rain behind that. And then tomorrow begins the heavy round of rain that's a little bit more consistent. Right now it's 47 in Portland. Wind is out of the east southeast at 14 and temperatures really not going to be changing. We're not expecting a cool down. In fact, our temperatures will stay the same overnight and then warm up tomorrow. Mid 40s to upper 40s expected. Ridgefield live look right there. You can see that's where that heavy band of rain is moving through and you can see the water spraying up from the roadways and all the cars and trucks there. 49 degrees and let's take a look at what's brewing in the Pacific. We have our next atmospheric river lining up for not just California this time around, lining up for southern Oregon and then eventually gliding up the coast moving northbound, which means everybody gets a chance to accumulate a decent amount of rain, but the heaviest showers will truly be out towards southern Oregon. Take a look at the forecast rain model here. We go Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, so four days in a row. These are your rainfall totals. Brookings here, that should get your attention. Uh, perhaps more than seven inches of rain. It goes from being beneficial rain to perhaps hazardous. Looking at Northern California, upwards of four to five inches possible. San Francisco getting a break by comparison. In fact, we could see more rain than San Francisco, all based on where that plume of moisture is lining up. And again, that is mostly going to be headed into the south end of our state. Now going out to the coast, the coast certainly will see the highest rainfall totals compared to what we would have in the Willamette Valley, anywhere from about three to four inches possible from Astoria down towards Lincoln City. Here's your planner for tomorrow for Portland. Tomorrow morning starting off at 48 degrees, highs in the low 50s, wind out of the east southeast at about 15 to 20 miles per hour with rain expected for pretty much the entire day. Next warm front coming through tomorrow night. Behind that, another cold front. And then as soon as we get into the weekend, we're gonna bring those snow levels back down to our mountain passes. This takes us into tonight, more rain. Easterly wind takes over for tomorrow. Now, if you're looking for a break from the rain, even if it's just a few minutes, your best time will really be Thursday morning. And then Thursday afternoon, we pick up that rain once again, and it continues all the way through Saturday and Sunday. You can see the area of low pressure very well defined offshore right here going into Saturday night. And then here comes the colder air right behind it, bringing the snow levels back to our mountain passes by the time we hit Sunday morning. Here's your weekend planner for Portland, a temperature of 50 for you Saturday. Sunday, we're looking at 48 with, you guessed it, more rain both days. Mountain forecast, Saturday is high. If you're heading up to, let's say, Mountain Meadows or Timberline, up there at about 6,000 feet, you can expect temperatures just below freezing and even colder by Sunday with a high there of 27. Here's a look at your seven-day forecast. 51, maybe even 52 for tomorrow's high temperature. Showers every single day. We get into Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday of next week, and more rain on the way with temperatures right around 46 to 47. Coin 6 News, we'll be right back.